going to summarize for us all six movies in six minutes. Are you serious? <laughs> Go. Do it. Phantom Menace, awful. Attack of the Clones, a complete, just disgusting piece of film. Revenge of the Sith, watchable but still bad. A New Hope, essentially a perfect movie. Uh, Empire Strikes Back, fantastic, amazing piece of cinema. Return of the Jedi, disappointing towards the end, but still a great conclusion to an amazing trilogy of films. Done. How long did that take All me? Alright, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm surprised. So let's start with... Let's call it the original trilogy. The trilogy. We can just go with that. No, no. Because the there's other exist? trilogies nowadays. It could be Lord of the Rings. It could be whatever. We're not having a Clark's 2 discussion. Anyways, let's start with the original okay. trilogy. Luke Skywalker, etc. It, my, my, am I talking and you then talk. everyone's going to just slam me? Okay. Uh, a New Hope. Start with that one. Okay. A New Hope is essentially a perfect film. It has character arcs, it has character development, it has the high points, the low points. It starts out at in the middle of an amazing sequence, then it lulls down to set and build up pacing. You have amazing characters for the time, the special effects. Even now, if you watch the movie, it still it looks really cool. The special editions kind of fudge things here and there when it comes to the visuals. But you have, you have not great performances from people. You have an amazing score, which is still one of the best pieces of uh, score ever put in. Oh, you don't grimace. Don't even. <laughs> I need a photo of you doing that. So essentially, I have to say I like the score. I love the score. So, yeah. so that's a band. New thing. Hope was a perfect. It is. Luke. It is. Hey, I'm only... Luke. Hi, I'm Han. Let's go rescue the princess. And the story, Holy shit! That right? saved me a lot of time. I don't have to watch the movie anymore. Wasn't that basically what it was you. about, though? Right? A couple guys. Basically, no. Coming together. Let's go fight the Empire, rescue the princess. Done. No. All right. What no. was it? Explain no. just a, a tiny bit more detail. Not a lot, but a tiny bit more. There's a rebellion <laughs> against the oppressive Empire. There's some plans for a secret space station that is stolen. They end up in the hands of a young farm boy on a distant uh, outlying planet. He gets pulled into a larger situation. He learns that the power uh, he has, a, he has a, an ability that can be harnessed and used to further uh, further the cause of this rebellion to overthrow this empire. He engages in some training with a mentor. Uh, there's a dark uh, wizard from his past that uh, has a connection to everybody there. They have a big cool fight scenes. There's uh, they get exposed to the larger rebel alliance. They have a cool spaceship battle in space. There's explosions. There's cool drama. There's believing in yourself. And how does the movie end? What is the conclusion of this film? The movie ends with victory, albeit a, a small victory in a larger scheme. Uh, it kind of sets up like this is the end of it, but no. It is the only movie that is actually self-contained. Out of all six movies, mm -hmm. and even when Abrams starts effing up the next ones, <laughs> it's the only one that is a self-contained movie. It has a first, second, and third act that conclude, tie up, and the movie is over. The other five, you can't. They don't work like all that. Right. Griff, your thoughts. New Hope. Uh, well, I haven't seen this since I was a child, so I do not know. Come oh, on. Fuck. I haven't seen any of them since you, I told you. Do you know you? any of the characters? I've put myself characters. through watching Hunger Games again, and you can watch A New Hope for this. <laughs> I, I didn't. Hey, I don't, I don't own it, so... All right. Yeah. So, A New Hope. That's your review. I don't I remember it. Basically, I actually it agree with you. Wow, yeah. that's different. Yep. yep, I do. I can't ever watch it again. Because it puts me to sleep. It's so boring. <laughs> but How is it boring? Because when you watch Star Wars and it plays on TBS like 384 times a year, you I don't really... I can pick really, out the one thing wrong with that sentence. You don't really need TBS. to... TBS. <laughs> see, TBS is a good network. Was. By by. Well, well, I don't Peach know. Peachtree, whatever the hell it is I haven't now. seen it in a while, so... I think it's Peachtree. But anyways, after you've seen Star Wars like 50 times... You don't really ever need to see it again. It's it's still a film that you could easily toss in on a Sunday afternoon and watch it. If you want to take a nap. <laughs> exactly. That's true. No. And that goes for pretty much It any has the best Star lightsaber Wars fights. It probably has the best lightsaber okay. fight. As All much right. as the fight, the, the <clears throat> million mile an hour chess I move. do agree that it was a good movie. Yeah. It was. The Vader-Obi-Wan fight. But you can never watch it again. Okay. Like fine. ever. All right. I don't even think I would subject my kids to it. Should I ever have kids? 
But maybe I, you know, whatever. We'll see. We'll see. So you'll show them... Uh, Empire Strikes Back. Go. Empire Strikes Back is my personal favorite. What's uh, it about? It's uh, continuing the adventure that was kind of set up in uh, the first one. It's one of those cool movies where they say he wrote them all, but it's one of those things where the, the writer maybe had an idea for more after the fact, and the first one got popular. Okay, what can we do? So it took seeds and story threads and carried them on, which not so how I like how they do sequels. Not necessarily, we have to make this movie into a sequel. What mm -hmm. can we do? Tease everyone for two hours to set up a next one. No, take plot points and threads. And Big run question, with it. I'm sure, on all our viewers' minds, if in case they are lapsed viewers of Star Wars and stuff, such as myself. Okay. Though I do remember, but maybe other people don't. Was there any incest in this one, <laughs> like the first movie? There, there was, there was implied sexual tension in the first movie. Let's be honest. Was there no tongue in that first movie? There was no tongue in the second one. I don't. I don't remember gaping maws in. Uh, <laughs> there was. There was no. There was none of that. Did not brother and sister affectionately hug and? They hugged in the first one. And they didn't. I wouldn't necessarily call that a makeout in Empire. All right. So you're it was awkward. No to incest in the second movie. By the base definition. <laughs> What is the definition of incest? Is it any type of sexual contact between I relatives? I'm like sure blood it's relatives? the actual Not necessarily act. sexual, but also the actual you know, emotional, to, like, you know, romantic, I guess oh, you could say. I don't think that was romantic. Like I don't Cersei think she had... and uh, Jamie. I don't... That... From Game of Thrones. That's incest. That is incest, boys and girls. That is pure incest. Yeah. For those who want to know, that's what it is. I don't right. think that was a romantic interaction. Right. I always believe it kind was... Kind of life and death the sort of thing, right? No. Maybe? No? There was, they weren't dying at that point. I think it was just a big fuck you to, to Han from Leia at that point. Uh, just right. hit her giving him the middle finger. All right. That's Continue kind of with your theory. recap of Empire. Uh, Rebellion is kind of like been hammered down a little bit because, yeah, they blew up a Death Star. Huzzah! The entire Empire wasn't on that Death Star, and they're pissed off about it. So mm. they've been chasing Han them down. They've been pushed off this one little planet. Uh, Luke uh, doesn't have his mentor anymore, so he's he's still trying to use the Force, but you know he doesn't have anyone to show him. So uh, he has a vision. He gets uh, goes off to another planet to try and get some training. So we have like our separating of our heroes after a what I will admit is a problem with a lot of sci-fi movies. They're escaping a planet. They apparently have to go in one direction, despite the fact a planet is a globe type structure <laughs> where you could have left from any other part of the planet. If I'm missing something, that someone can explain to me why they have to go through this one corridor. I know the ion cannon was there to fire and take out the Star Destroyers, but Star Destroyers weren't encompassing the planet. They could have... So, if anyone knows an explanation, please feel free to let me know. Any of you that are even more into the minute of the <laughs> Star Wars s destroyer... I believe the term is minutia? Minutia, yeah. minutia whatever. <laughs> whatever. Minute. <laughs> Fine. Minutia. If anyone is more nerdy on those aspects than Gary is, please let us know. So anyway, our heroes separate. Uh, Han, Han, Chewie, Leia, and the bots go off to uh, Lando Calrissian at Cloud City, the coolest motherfucker in the galaxy. Also the only black man in the entire Star Wars universe. That is true. That is true. Uh, Luke what are Jawas? Hmm? Don't know. They're hobbits. Ah, alright. Explains it all. Done. Magic. Science. Yeah. They could be Ewoks, though. <laughs> Ewoks in hoodies. <laughs> hoodie, hoodie, Ewok. That'd be a great movie. Like a gangster Ewok. Yeah. Anyway, or an assassin Ewok. What up? So, uh, Luke goes off, gets some training from the great Jedi Yoda, whose reveal in Empire is totally undercut by the fact that we see him for the entire first three movies. There's, um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it totally diminishes his character in Empire. I totally didn't think All about right, that. All right, we'll get to that. Yeah. Finish, so, finish this off here. So, uh, they have their trials and tribulations on both sides. They end up coming back together uh, to meet up at Cloud City, where uh, Luke goes to rescue them. They have a great confrontation with... Uh, Luke has a great confrontation with Vader. It's, it's such an emotional... That was pretty fight. epic. It's, yeah. That was a good it's, fight. It's one of those things where Empire is the one where the bad guys win. It's one of those rare movies where... Everything just goes to shit for the good guys. 
Vader is fighting Luke one-handed. Luke is giving it all he's got in that fight, just dumping everything he can, and Vader's like, whatever. I think I... that's why a lot of people enjoy Empire the most. Because the bad guy wins? I think win. so. Yeah. It's, you, you don't see it as much. Yeah. And it's a nice change. And, it, and it's good because it has that dramatic curve to it. you got the good guy's victory in, Emp in uh, New Hope, and then you've got just their complete downfall. Everything mm -hmm. goes to shit, and then they fight back and struggle. You know, it's a three-arc structure. Yeah. It's how it's supposed to be. Beginning, middle, end. Um, they have the big fight. There's the big reveal. Spoiler. Um, I don't think it's a spoiler. Just tell us. <laughs> it's only been like 28 years, whatever. I think it's been longer, it's probably longer, it's been longer than, than that. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm 31, so it's been longer than that. Empire came out, what, 81? Something like that. All right, it's been 33 years, so I think everyone's in the know. There's the father parentage reveal, and just everything goes to shit. And the movie ends on such a huge downer. And uh, to quote Kevin Smith's Clerks, that's what life is, just a repeated series of downers. Hmm. You've got the good parts in between, but it's just downhill, downhill. And it's it does set up a third one. Yeah. So that's why it's kind of hard to watch Empire without then going into Jedi, at least from a narrative point of view. I mean, right. I can watch Empire and be like, I'm not watching Jedi, whatever. But yeah. Chris, your line. thoughts. Empire. Go. I remember I a little bit at the end. Good. I remember... <sighs> I remember, I remember I told robot you, hands. I told you last week that we I brought you on as a knowledgeable guest for on games. all things cinema. I told you last week that it had been years since I've seen any of those movies. So, uh, my favorite part, AT-ATs. Yeah. Those are, those are such an impractical weapon. <laughs> they're so... But, from a battle... But they're awesome. Oh, they're fantastic. But from a battle standpoint... We land them miles away from the actual guys. They have to walk slow as f to get there. <laughs> yeah. And All right. Just uh, the, the, you're right. They are they are a badass design. On the whole, I did enjoy this one as well. Yeah. Actually, will I ever watch it again? Nope. Same reason <laughs> as the first. It's a put to sleep movie. Oh. All right. Return of the Jedi. Try and go a little quicker this time. <laughs> it's good. It is good. Rebecca. I like the Ewoks. How about I sum it up? Fuck you. How about I Ewoks. sum it up They're adorable. You. I like them. I'll they sum should up have been Jedi. Wookiees. Jedi. There's Luke. There's Han. There's Chewie. They're in Jabba's palace. Oh, look. Boba Fett dies. Darn. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, they escape. Boom. Let's go uh, visit some Ewoks. Woo! Yay, yay, yay. Speed racers in the forest. Yeah. Blow up the Death Star. Woo! Fun. Cool. They got medals at the end. C-3PO's all shiny. R2's all polished up. Great movie. You see some ghosts. It's awesome. They don't get medals. I thought they got medals. That was it. They get a new hope. Oh, all right. So I mixed that up. Whatever. Chewie didn't get it because Leia's racist. Uh, oh. <laughs> or it would just get caught in his fur. Huh? They could have put him across his sash. Maybe they gave him a new gun. No, because he still has bowcaster. But maybe it's new. No. You can't. No, you can't prove it's new. <laughs> So, what would be more economically feasible for a rebellion to give a Wookiee? A tiny piece of gold medallion that they clearly had the ability to produce, or an entirely new weapon that nobody else in the entire Star Trek universe has except Wookiees? Well, I don't think anyone in the Star Trek universe Star Wars has universe. Them, so, uh, wrong there. Sorry, I saw Into Darkness last night, and it's still bogging my mind. Whoa, well, like hold up one. there. Hold up. Tease That's up. an entirely different, uh, uh, track we're going on there. So. Uh, uh? So, uh, yeah, Jedi, I did enjoy Jedi as well. I Jedi, really Jedi's a good it. film. Uh, the Emperor, when the Emperor, Vader, and Luke Love get together, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. It, the, uh, the Endor stuff it was awesome. Eh, I don't care for Ewoks. Why don't you like Ewoks? They're adorable. That's why. That's Warwick why. Davis. It began, Hello. It began the Davis. downturn. It began the Do play. Do you have something against little people? I don't know where you're coming to that conclusion. I don't know. That might say more about you than just me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the Ewoks. I love Warwick Davis. He's hilarious. I will admit, like, I when the Ewoks start getting massacred and, like, the one starts crying and the little guy's like, Are you alive? It's like, aww, teddy bears. True. <laughs> but that was, that was, you kind of got some hints that, okay, he's spinning this now around yeah. to trying to sell way more things to little kids and not really mm -hmm. focus on telling a story. Well... For me, again, I enjoyed it a lot. I still give it a thumbs up. But 
will never watch Aiden it Christensen again. is not in Jedi. As it he is puts not. me to sleep along with half the nation of the world. I remember, I remember liking that one the half best of them all. Half the nation <laughs> of the world. Let's think about that for a second. <laughs> if you're all one nation, na- Gary. If you had said nations. No, no. We're all one nation. The human race. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're getting deep now. That's right. This is getting political. That's what you get when you listen to the pendulum on a weekly it's basis. Swing either way. That's right. Wait, what? So, original trilogy. I think trilogy. more than anything else. Explain. <laughs> original trilogy. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Obviously a thumbs up. Gigantic yeah. thumbs up. Uh, the first one, again, I reiterate this point. Perfect film. Second one is now, the great middle art. Original of unedited episodes or George Lucas remasters. The A New Hope wasn't fucked up completely through the re-edits and these special editions. They the stupid shit with uh, R2 behind a rock, which he had no physical way of getting in is stupid. The dragon call from Obi Wan is ridiculous. Uh, some of the things to make um Mos Eisley look bigger and more expansive I didn't mm-hmm. mind. The, uh, some little things like that are cool, like the additional effect shots of the Falcon flying up. I'm fine with that. They didn't completely fuck it up. Uh, same with Empire. Not, there's not too much shit in there that's atrocious. The end song being changed in Jedi, I hate because the original song is awesome. Mm. Yep, yep. That is a great song. That's awesome. That is great. And Hayden fucking Christensen does not belong in Jedi. That makes that no goddamn true. sense. Even if you loved Hayden Christensen, even if Hayden Christensen did an Oscar caliber performance in episodes two and three, it made no sense that that's how he looked at the end of Jedi. That's right, mannequin. You do not belong there. He, it doesn't make sense because Obi Wan looked like Alec Guinness at the end of the movie. Correct. Hayden Christensen was old and decrepit when he died. He should have looked like the original guy that played. Yes. Anakin, for that scene. They should not have CGI'd him out. Alright, Griff, Stupid. your thoughts. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Will you watch them again at some point in I your life? I wouldn't mind watching them again just to refresh my memory, because it has been a long time. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Awesome. Alright, and a uh, thumbs up for Father's me. Day, so... Alright, yeah. new trilogy, which is three prequel movies to the original trilogy, thereby renumbering them as number four, five, and six. Mm, incorrect. They were always 4, 5, and 6. They were not always 4, 5, and 6. You look at the title crawl. It says episode 4. Did episode... they not change that? No. They were always Are you episode sure? 4. Yes. I don't remember that. I'm right. Maybe it's because I haven't seen them in like 20 years. It always starts out episode 4, A New Hope. Episode 5, Emperor really? Strikes Back. Episode 6. So they were always going to do They were the... always. They always had right. planned the prequel? Well, they were always. Well, I can't wait till they make those prequel movies. They were, they were always sure parts like 4, see 5, and 6 of a larger story. So that. <clears throat> Meaning that they're originally going to, they're always planning to do the yeah. first three. Then, well, he he had a, probably a loose outline, maybe even so far back. I think it was an interview. Sounds like he had a loose outline when they made the movie. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, summation: one, two, and three, all Fucking together. Terrible. All together. Waste of time. Designed to sell toys to kids. Horrible CGI. He didn't know how to direct a movie. There were scenes in the movie that didn't need to be CGI, yet they just decided, screw it, we'll add it. The nothing in the movie matters. There's no main character in the first movie. Jar Jar Binks. That's another point. That's <laughs> Jar Jar wrong. Binks, main character. The main character. Nope. Mannequin? He's Little not. Mannequin? He's not the protagonist. Hmm. Watch the Red Letter Media review of uh, Phantom Menace. He is not. He Why the protagonist. would I do that when I watch our review? Because this guy has <laughs> far know. better credentials than us. He's, I'm not sure where, if he's actually, what type of education he has in film, but he's bloody smart. All you right. look up the definition of protagonist, nobody in that movie fits the bill as a protagonist. Alright, number two. Just a complete disaster on film. <laughs> it looks like garbage. It has a ridiculous plot. There's the worst line in movie history. Really? Because you've said there's what many line? worse lines. What's so the what worst is this? Line? Everything's so hot here. It gets oh, sand. Oh, I don't like sand. It gets everywhere. Like that is the like that entire <laughs> section of dialogue <laughs> is clumsy. It's awkward. It's, That's the worst line in movies. It, <laughs> wow. It's terrible. That's, there I'm are sure lines in movies that are bad, but they're bad in bad films. They're designed True. to be. See orgasmo. 
for that. Right. Orgasmo yeah. is awesome. All right, so continue whatever. on your summation. Uh, the the whole like we can't be together yet. She's like just teasing him with these bondage outfits she's wearing for the entire movie. <laughs> You've got just stupid, stupid people doing stupid, stupid things for the entire movie. You've got a battle at the end that's basically CG thrown at each other. You've got dialogue that makes no sense whatsoever. You've got a fight between two Jedis and Dooku, which is means nothing. There's no tension whatsoever. You've got Yoda being completely undercut and being turned into a ball of stupid. Hmm. And... It's high praise. High it's, praise. It's, it's it's atrocious. It is a terrible film. It is the only one that I think is completely unwatchable. All right, number three. Number three, because it's the third one, they have to get darker, so it's automatically a darker film. Yes, they film. did. Yes, they did. Technically and visually, the nice big bright shiny colors of that tracking shot at the beginning is kind of cool. It's one big long again. It's one big giant long CG cut, so it's you know not exactly. Mm. fantastic filmmaking, but it looks pretty. You've got awful dialogue, awful acting, stupid plot points. You've got Vader becoming Vader for basically no reason. There are a million different alternatives he could have taken. He starts slaughtering True. children, which, great way to show how bad he is. Let's have him kill unarmed children. That'll hammer home how bad he is. Yay! Mm -hmm. And it's just, you've got a fight on Mustafar that goes at least 10 minutes too long. It means nothing. There's no tension or drama because everything's going by at 100 miles an hour. You've got no poorly paced. It's cut between other scenes going on, so you lose any tension that might have been built up in the scene. Goes on too long. The end of the fight is stupid. Oh, I have the higher ground. Yeah, that only applies if you don't have fucking superpowers. <laughs> the two guys in the fight... Would have died by the lava. I don't care. They're dead. Mm. But you've got a guy who says he has the higher ground. That applies if you have two dudes fighting with swords. That's basic military tactics. High ground wins. Except if one guy can basically do anything he wants if he thinks hard enough. He yes. could have force pushed Obi Wan. He could have done anything as opposed to trying backflip. Obi Wan's a total dick. Hmm. You were the chosen one. You're my brother. I'm gonna leave you here dying on a volcano. So basically, another it's a thumbs down. Another thumbs down. It's a watchable film. It's better than the second. It's about on par with the first. If I had a choice, I'd watch the third, first, and second. That's my order. <laughs> all right then. So awful. But and awful films. To, to think we I'm just on bragging that, on Rebecca? these movies. Hang on. Hang on. I actually waited in line to buy tickets, and I waited in line to get into the theater to see all three of these movies. Actually, I did wait in line to see the first one as well. I skipped the classes in high school to get tickets, and I ran into my math teacher after uh, I got that ticket when he was leaving the parking lot, and he asked us, uh, you have something better to be today, boys? And we all looked at each other, and we're like, yeah. Hmm. So, yeah. You waited in line even after, for the third one, even after the second one blew so hard? Yeah. That's Die Hard fan right there. Die Hard fan. Yeah. I waited in line at the Cumberland Cinema in Thunder Bay at 9 o'clock showing to see the very first one. Got in, sat down, watched about 15 minutes when they met Jar Jar or whatever and they're on the planet I'm and out. all that stuff. And I actually did pass out in the theater for about an hour. That's how good it was. I passed out. I fell asleep through the first one too and I didn't watch it again for till way later. Yeah. Fucking boring as hell. Never even saw the second or third one because I heard they blew so much. The movie, so, the first one has just like uh, such a ridiculous plot. Nothing makes boring. sense. No, so what would you no say plot. to all those fans then that love one, two, and three? Uh, I would, I would, are, are I would say to this person, listen, <laughs> you're crazy. I don't know if you've had some type of head injury, <laughs> but uh, don't carry on. Would you slap them across the face? I'd find out if they had some issues first, like if mm. if they had sustained a head injury in a car accident or something, because I don't want to like hurt people. True. But True. I'd, I'd sit them down and explain to them why they're wrong. So... But again, it's like one person, so... I was going to say, I was unaware of any of these people. Yeah, exist, I don't think so. you're going to find die-hard Attack of the Clones fans. Visually, you you'll find know. people like, yeah, Jango Fett's cool. Jango Fett's cool in the same way Boba Fett is cool. He looks awesome. He yeah. does nothing. But doesn't Jar Jar look awesome? No! 
<laughs> no, he doesn't. All and Boba right. Fett isn't racist. How about the actors? Of all the various actors, we got Kira Knightley, Natalie Portman, whoever played Mannequin, I can't remember anymore. I don't think Kira Knightley, Knightley is in... She was. She was, was she one of the handmaidens? Handmaiden. Because they and oh, she played yeah. the body double in there. When, uh, she, I don't know, for whatever... She was in Attack of the Clones. Kira Knightley was in Attack she of was, the Clones. She was in all three if you look on IMDb. I'm pretty sure. Pretty possible, actually. Let's take a look at that. I don't know. But anywho's, when they... When Amidala had to step out or something, Kira Knightley's character took over because of the... That was so stupid that they didn't bother to mention that to any of her bodyguards. Yeah. The Jedi's there protecting her. What What if they decide to protect their own one? Yeah, well, that's the that's chance, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's the chance to take you with their young queen's life. <laughs> we have to keep her safe by not telling anyone who's protecting what her. What about uh, Ewan McGregor? How did he do? Uh, Poor he choice. A... He could have been a great choice if he had been an not older Obi-Wan yeah. for longer. Uh, he, he's still a bit of a dick. He. Uh... What about Mies Windu? <laughs> Awful. So stupid. The character of Mace Windu was cool. He's better in the, um, uh, Grand Grandy Tartan. Oh, what's his name? That's his last name. I did Samurai Jack. Oh, okay, yeah. The Mace Windu they had in his episode of uh, the Clone Wars cartoon? Badass. Hmm. But, yeah, Sam Jackson? No. No. On a related note, Sam Jackson, you are awesome in most everything you do, including Snakes on a Plane, which I loved. But, uh, That's the type of movie where it's okay that it's so bad. But not Star Wars, no. I'm sorry. And you, he did not have a badass death as promised. He got thrown out of a window. Yeah. It's not a badass death. Sure. What about Christopher Lee? Christopher Lee's awesome in anything. That's true. It is true, actually. That was, I think the, the, the best bit of acting in all three of those movies is when Christopher Lee gets like his hands chopped off and he's down on his knees like... With the the, the uh, lightsabers at his neck, mm. and the emperor's like kill him, and he's like, "Whoa, hang on, what? You didn't? What's going on?" He has that look of shock. Yeah. Okay, hmm. so for the record, according to IMDb, she's only in the first one. Oh well, whatever. I was sure, but whatever. But I'm right again. <laughs> I believe the Griff was right this time. The Griff. I think I said, "Oh yeah, she was in the first one." No, she's not in the second one. Uh, you, I, you I didn't remember believe she was in any of them. And then I remembered, oh right, I remember she was in the first one. Yeah, that's, that's bad films. Bad. Alright. Bad. So, R2 and C-3PO, how were they in the first three? They're the, the, they're the same. 3PO is 3PO, R2 is R2. It's the same, the same thing. True. Did we see any Wookiees in the first three? They were working. They were. They were on Kashyyyk. So yes. Were they? I don't even remember yeah. that. And with a big Tarzan scream. I think I've only seen those movies once. Yeah. They were so terrible. And their battle on Kashyyyk, and that's where we we got our obligatory Chewbacca shout out. Hmm. It's funny how someone doesn't care for them so much that he owns those movies. <laughs> I find that. Strange. I'm a collector. I'm a completist. I haven't bought them on Blu-ray yet. Are you? That could have to be a pretty damn good price. I keep seeing the Amazon deal of the, the deal of the day for the original trilogy. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll get that. But then I'm like, if I get that, every time I look at it and I don't see one, two, and three next to it, I'm gonna be just gonna drive me crazy. So I, I just have to pretend they don't exist. That kind of works. Yeah, that kind of works. Yeah, it's a lot of mental energy to wipe out like nearly ten hours of film All right. from my memory. So we've talked about two science fiction original trilogy. Good. New trilogy, can't terrible. Even, can't even just... As a sextology, not the greatest. You got it right this time. Yeah. Yay. You're talking about this time. Don't I always have it right, Gary? Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 You talked about this. <laughs> I put annotations in the video. So why don't you think that um, Abrams is going to do a good job? Uh... As a quick aside, yes. Yeah, I... J.J. Abrams, new Star Wars, possible trilogy, at least the first one. Yeah. Uh, I'm grateful he's not doing Star Trek anymore, so I have that to look forward that to. That isn't guaranteed yet. He can't possibly do both. 
Paramount is, Paramount is going to want to cash in. I'm sure I can't remember how much money in the darkness made, but it was a lot, Quite right? Yeah. Start there. Paramount is not going to want to wait for Abrams to go through the entire process of doing a Star exactly. Wars movie before it took they start like four Trek. years to do Star yeah. Trek two. So. They, they're going to want a third one out, two three years tops. Yeah. Which could actually mean that we might get a Star Wars and a Star Trek movie in the same year. That could be kind of... Holy shit, 2015. Yeah. That could be Avengers 2, Star Wars, and Star Trek. Be a huh. good year. Wow. That'd be kind of Minus cool. Minus Star Wars. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you think he's going to do a good job? Well, the Star Treks were a demo reel for Star Wars. I they disagree were with that. Film because I'm... when he was doing the first one, he had no idea Star Wars was coming up. Mm-hmm. No idea. No, but they were, they were, hey, look what I can do. No, was it? Wasn't. It was. Look, Ghost I'm an awesome director. Look what I can not do. Not an awesome director. I he love both awesome Star Trek, so whatever. We're gonna talk about this. It will be a future conversation in another episode, not this one. <laughs> so stay tuned. <laughs> so yes, and that's it for today. I'm Jeff. Thank God. I'm Gary. I didn't even put it on me. I'm the Griff. Yeah! yeah. And that's it for this one. <laughs> We're out. Take care, everybody.